Thank you for choosing on Beta. Uh, this is the first of hopefully many instructional videos on uh, just finding the literature and of course downloading um, what you have access to. You have access to a number of really great subscription journals. So to start with, uh, you're going to hit that little world icon on the bottom of your tablet um, that has been already been selected there. You've got to move to where it says Tunnel Switch, click that. And what should happen is you should connect to our server and it should say Connected. Um, up top and you see like this kind of little world icon also you have a little check mark in the tunnel switch box uh, so let's actually find some literature so we're going to use um, uh, CABI or VetMed resource which is probably one of the it is the most preeminent veterinary database um, that you can get so with CABI what we're going to do is we're just going to pull up our CABI window here and we're going to type in a search pattern um, I apologize in advance, it takes me a while to type on this keyboard, so sometimes a Bluetooth keyboard might be more helpful. At any rate, um, I'm just looking for urinary catheter care um, kind of thing. I'm using Boolean, um, capital A-N-D, uh, to make sure that when I'm searching for articles, they're including everything um, that I'm listing there. So it's only looking for articles that has urinary catheter and care in it. So of all the articles out there that have urinary catheter and care, it's only looking for those three words together. And of course, still we get a pretty decent uh, result. One of the things I want to point out is with CABI, um, always make sure that it's saying you're signed in as on beta. If not, where it said sign out, um, you can go sign in and you just sign in based on your IP address and it should immediately recognize you as on beta. Um, so uh, uh, looking through various journals, various articles, um, I'm just picking one that, that I like randomly uh, in this group. Well, maybe not so randomly, but one, one I think is a good one and, and uh, that I know we have, which is um, from JAPMA, I believe. Um, once I've chosen that one, what I'm going to do is select on the actual icon, and you can see it gives you the abstract. Um, and then what's kind of cool on the side is it has something called a DOI. Um, that DOI is going to allow me to link directly pretty much to that article. So when using CABI, I strongly encourage you guys to click that DOI um, that I have highlighted there. Um, click that and it will pull up your, your article. So now what's happening is we click the DOI and it brings up you know the AVMA website and that article. And you'll notice on the upper right corner, I can select the PDF file. Um, and you know what the heck let's pick PDF plus so I choose PDF plus and if you look at the top left you see those little icons right there it's pretty much saying that I've downloaded that article that icon up top that little left downward icon that you see um, is saying it downloaded the article and sometimes we I hit that myself a few times not realizing I hit it um, but right there that's the article I click on that icon um, and there's the article so let me try that again uh, in real time because those were kind of still images. So I choose view PDF plus. When I've done that, um, I've downloaded and the icon on the upper left is there. I choose that icon and then it gives you the option of how to open it. Um, I choose Adobe Reader. You can hit always um, for that or just once. Either way, it will pull up the article, the PDF for you um, with Adobe Reader, which is of course um, one of the easier ways to read these articles and you can highlight, annotate, etc. Um, I strongly encourage you guys to check out Scholarly, uh, which is another uh, great PDF um, platform that you can uh, make notations with. Thank you, and we'll have more for you in the future.